just trying to look, take a minute and see what you see. I don't think I usually do that. Um, it's so quiet in my world. And I don't know why it feels like it bears saying, but <sighs> to those who have never felt stillness, to those who long for peace, like it's something they've never tasted before, but crave anyway. Sorry, you probably heard more of Blue washing his hands than me talking. If peace is like a flavor that you crave, even though you've never tasted it before, that's one of those things we get to keep. I promise you it's real, even if it hasn't happened yet. That's the beautiful thing about doing our own therapy and not only acknowledging or turning ourselves into a jar and being the one holding the blade that cuts things out, The beautiful thing about that is that we get to taste what discernment means. And we get to taste what intention means. We get to follow the words, I don't know. And I can't remember. We get to savor those and let those lead us to adventure and discovery. We, we let the curiosity be our nose, right? And when we learn that way, when we learn by falling, we get really good at falling correctly. And do you know what that means? That means that we move by touch. We move by sound. We move by vibration. And the funny thing about it is all of those things aren't coming from outside. They're actually coming from within, and that's why it feels like we don't know what taste, what the taste of peace is. The thing that we're really terrified of, it's the one thing that's not going to kill us. It's the one thing that's not going to eat us whole, and yet we know it is, and we can't remember why. Intention is that thing that you have to put hands on and, and smell it and lick it and taste it and ask yourself, what is that? Intention is what is holy, not the ritual. Meaningless ritual is the cuss, not the ritual. And the only thing that makes a ritual a ritual is the intention. Our bodies seem to need ritual. And own the jar so that you are the one who says what defines intention, what defines value, what defines worth. And is this quality, value, principle, belief, is it worth enough that, it, that there's room in this jar for it? And like the babbling I did about culture and the immune system and how it all balls up in and around and that's the whole world, guys. So don't sell yourself short, right? Like the, the whole world is in that jar, that body. It's holy. That body is a holy place. And that's not egotistical to say. That's not rubbing the narcissist on the tummy to say that, to say that this jar is holy. Colors are holy because they're what we wrap the jar in, not because of how much the dye costs. We define things based on intention and we fall based on intention. I hope that makes sense because I, it does to me now. And that whole pantheon that, you know, the, the parts work that I've been doing, the, the parts work that I've been doing to address um, looking in the mirror and, and 
I don't know why, but for some of us on this earth, looking in the mirror is so much more scary than being willing to believe that a scary movie is real. Babies, I just, I want you to know if this speaks to you, if, if what I babble about makes any sense at all, please know that if you don't eat that fear, if you don't eat that weakness, if you don't eat that greed, if you don't get down on your hands and knees and look at it until it makes you cry so hard that you love it again and eat that for breakfast, it will eat you. It will leave you with nothing but a... a a scary, tangled skeleton of a woman on your hands. And when you live that way, life can last way longer than you ever meant it to, babies. And our discernment within us, once you find your rhythm, tells us that that's, that's the kind of thinking that needs to go. Whether or not we're living forever, the present really is the moment. It really is not wrapped up in complication and uh, peer-reviewed research. That stuff is fun. They're all toys in the sandbox. But that's all they are, guys. Information is sacred because it can't be owned. It can't be owned and it can't be lost. But it can be discovered. All information can be discovered. And I promise you, I promise you, I promise you. There's a vast and rich and complex wealth of stories and knowings. It's it's covered in, in layers upon layers of the underworld, the other places, all of your scariest things. All of your scariest wonderings, could that possibly be real? They're there. But I promise you, if you lean in and you start looking and you get scared and you close your eyes, as long as your intention is that you're still looking, you're still looking, guys. It's really kind of a silly moral to this story. But sometimes those are the best. <laughs> and the way back to that to that treasure inside of the lotus, the Om Mani Padme Hum. The map, the treasure map, when you start eating your breadcrumbs, you start eating your fear for breakfast, you start eating your, your poverty for breakfast, your inadequacy, your low IQ, your clumsiness. Your ability to hurt people's feelings without trying. Or because maybe you hurt people's feelings because you try too hard. All that stuff. It's edible. In a way. It's nutritious in many ways. There's a reason why. And it's never, it's never as bad as you think it's going to be. Because that is, that is the nutrition. That's the nugget. There is no lock. The hardest, hardest lesson. The hardest lesson to learn is that as long as we're still breathing, there's going to be more shit. And that's beautiful. Lean into that. Find your breath. And when you start choke in on those breadcrumbs and and they start coming back up and you just feel like you need to cough and you don't know why let it come up and look at it and breathe it said uh, in as many different ways as there are spiritual traditions on, on this planet find your breath It's there. It's waiting for you. It is. It's in all of the scariest places you've never looked. It's in there. And it loves you madly. 
head over heels to the moon and back. It sees you. That's how we can say, I am but one of many parts of a beautiful, complex system of things and processes. And this body is holy. And that's not telling the strawberry it's a narcissist, not at all. And I promise you that is the present. It's all wound up in the breath inside of that beautiful body. So take care of it. Listen to it. Talk to it. Talk back and forth with it. Like it's your best friend. Like it's your favorite cat. And even if your first answer is a, is kind of a bite back, is a no, fuck you lady. That's fine. I love that too. Let it, let it become a maybe or a perhaps or a not yet. Or, or, or let that just start as a tiny little, tiny little burning ember that may or may not turn into something more. You might circle back around to it. How about that? I like it. Any, either way, any way it comes, it's fine. Just let it, let it be there. Peace is real and it is as scary as you think it is. So let your mind wander because it's not the thing that's going to kill you. It's the intention. Know what your intention is. Do you know you're pure of heart? Do you know what your values are? Do you know what does not belong in that jar anymore ever again? When you get the answers to those questions, you might find the present. <laughs>